Okay, we're going to change this light switch oh, oh, no. I know that to a wireless white light switch. When I bought it at uh, Home Depot, $39.99. And uh, got the power off, so I'm good. And I'll show you what the package comes with. It comes with a switch, which has power and brightness and dim and motion detection. And then here's the motion detector. Operates on a very small one of those flat CR2032 batteries last five years. It's got a switch down there. All I got to do is mount that outside. So for now we're going to mount this right here. I got it, uh, the power turned off. I'm going to take this and uh, undo the screws. I don't like using a power screwdriver here because uh, sometimes there's a temptation to screw them back in with the power screwdriver and you could strip these really easy. And we had them insulated as it comes out. And then I checked earlier to make sure this was the right switch. This one's for the foyer light, which is a very good In the instructions, they uh, show you how to replace these two wires here, and they tie in right here on the receiver. Piece of tape there. This is your ground wire. Goes right here on the bare or green wire. And then these two are just like they're here. One goes here and one goes here. And this is your antenna, which you kind of got to wrap in there and fold in there, I guess. It doesn't really say in the instructions, but I'm assuming you can't leave it hanging out of the outlet. I mean, out of it, yeah, out of the plug. All you have to do is, uh, there's a little slot in there for the screw driver, flat bladed, real small. Push down, and the wire pops right out. Push down in the other one, and the wire pops right out. Unscrew the green, which is your ground. Pops right now. Now it came with uh, three electrical strap uh, caps, two small and one large. Uh, I'm going to say the largest for the ground. And the wires are a little bit long, but I'm going to leave them that way and just wind them up in there. You never know what's going to happen uh, later. I'll try twisting this one just to get it started. And then we'll twist it right on until it gets tight. And then we'll take the other one. I'll just get that one started. A little twist. Just to hold it there. Hit the cap. And then we got the ground. 
this off because it's been bent a little, so it's probably a little weak. And we'll do the same thing with the ground wire. Kind of get it started a little bit. Okay. figure out a way to uh, kind of wrap these in there. A lot of room in this box, but that was before we had this entire thing in there. <laughs> All the power is off. I'm thinking we're going to wrap the, the wire around this plug, the antenna. And then, of course, I got a double wall outlet. So we're going to take this cover off so we can uh, put the double wall cover on it. It doesn't look like it came with uh, screws for the uh, mounting, so we're going to steal those from the light switch. Okay, I put in a new screws that I stole from the uh, other light switch. Um, and the wire is wrapped around, the antenna wire is wrapped around the case. I got the end of it just pointed here in the middle. I don't know if that will help anything, but it is infrared. So that means it's got to get a wireless signal out or pick one up. I'll put my uh, covers back in there. I think I actually have this one first. And second. screws back in the cover.
And not to over tighten them and make them pucker. Okay. And that's, uh, that's it. There's the other switch. And there's this switch. And here's the kit. Motion light with dual bright. Now before we install the motion detector, make sure you put in the two batteries. We got one little backing plate, one little screw. If you put the batteries, put the screw back in. Okay. Now it's probably it might start flashing. Okay. Put it on test and put the dual bright off. I'm not sure what that is. Now we're going to go outside and uh, put the motion detector on the wall. All right. So this is the little uh, clip they have in the ball of the motion to sensor if it's there. So you want to have the least the most room so it can swing up because I'm going to mount it underneath the eave. So the water, I mean, it's waterproof or tight, but uh, the less water that gets on stuff, the better. maximum range how far and I'm just gonna set it on max and then how long it stays on one to five minutes when it comes when it does sense motion and then the other one is a dusk to dawn feature like have the lights on half power from three hours before dusk six hours before dusk and then off and I'm just gonna turn it on off all right I already mounted the bracket. You just put this screw so it's loose and then push that ball in there. Holds it in there. And I give a guess where you want that to be and then uh, I'm just gonna I didn't want to tighten them all the way because I wanted to make sure I could get the uh, motion sensor in the ball socket. Tighten that screw and nut up behind there so that ball gets tight. Okay. And there it is. And there it is, all tightened. One screw there. There's an adjustment screw back there for the ball. And it's plenty tight. And it even it out, I guess. There's the other mounting screw right here, all tight. Okay, and there's the motion sensor. Okay. There's the two lights we're going to try and sense. Let's see if it works. And here we are. I'm going to turn our switch back on which is this one right here. All right, and let's go check it out. Now the instructions say that this, this is the power disconnect switch. This is on and off. 
and then this one here is the dimmer. So you push this on. the door came right on okay Let's see that again Turn the light see if it works and look at that came right on okay Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see how long it stays on. Just long enough. And get ready to do it. Oh, look, I got caught. Oh, I got caught. Okay. was the conclusion of the motion detector light install and uh, oh, I gotta bring the, uh, one last time here it is with the motion light set uh, from uh, Home Depot it's $39.99 And that's it from Home Improvement Central.